Greetings everyone, Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC. Hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at another Civivi offering for 2021 here, and that is the Civivi Riffle. <laughs> the Riffle. Yeah, these names, where do they get them? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so this is an interesting offering, obviously getting a lot of airtime, um, a lot of folks really liking this knife, um, and I can see why. It's got some cool features, and we'll talk through those. Uh, I recently did a review on the Civivi Brazen, uh, which I actually thought was the nicest Civivi that I had, uh, or at least the Civivi I enjoyed the most um, for some time. Uh, the Backlash was a favorite of mine. It's kind of a perennial favorite of mine, but uh, yeah, the Brazen, I think, sort of kicked that one down a notch and sort of took the top spot. So I guess the question is, how does the Riffle, at least in my view, uh, stand up to the Brazen, which is my new benchmark for nice, well-made Civivis. So uh, for those of you that don't know, Civivi is the sort of mid-tier brand of the Wee Knife company with Wee Knives above it and Send Cut below it. I'm going to have a video coming about, up about that uh, in a bit, uh, at least about Send Cut. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so this is what we've got here with the uh, Civivi Riffle. So we're going to do a classic uh, mild-mannered review today. So we'll do some specs and then some size comparisons, and then we'll get underway with that review. First and foremost, though, I want to say thank you so much to everybody who subscribes to the channel. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, it's just awesome how many of you are there uh, supporting the channel. And if you're new to the channel, hey, welcome. Glad to have you here. I uh, really hope you enjoy the review. If you do, you know, consider subscribing. It would be awesome to have you part of the little mild-mannered family we've got going on here. So, all right, let's get underway with our review, shall we? So, the Civivi Riffle, coming in at about 55 bucks, um, which... <laughs> You know, uh, for the materials, I that's going to be one point that I'm going to give it in the pro column. Uh, that's, uh, I think, a pretty good value, all things considered. Okay, so some specs. So we've got a blade length here of 3.46 inches, a blade thickness of 0 0.118 inches, a handle length when it's closed up of 4.52 inches, and a handle thickness of 0 0.47 inches. And that gives you an overall tip to tail when it's all kind of laid out there of 7.98 inches and a weight of 3.38 ounces. So it is a bit under that ounce and inch um, magic formula that a lot of people really like. So yeah, it's it's surprisingly lightweight, actually. Uh, I was even a little surprised by that. Um, even having seen the specs on it, I was sort of like, wow, okay, this feels pretty lightweight. Um, yeah, but we'll maybe talk about that a little bit in terms of materials down the road here. Okay, how about a few size comparisons? The Brazen, uh, I cannot do a size comparison with because I actually have that on a road show. It's out on the road right now, uh, making stops to other YouTube channels. Um, but uh, there you go. How about a Civivi Backlash? Sorry if that's a little too high on the camera there. Let me move these down. There we go. And another more recent Civivi, the Civivi Pintail. So there you go. You see, it's definitely in backlash territory in terms of size, although you've got a bit more cutting edge here because you don't have that finger choil uh, like you do on the backlash. How about a Spyderco Manix 2 Lightweight? There you go. And then a, how about a classic mild-mannered Swiss Army knife? <laughs> so there you go. That's what you got here in terms of size comparisons. All right, so let's go ahead and get underway with our classic mild-mannered review. When we do a classic review, we'll talk about the blade, we'll talk about the action, the scales and hardware, and then the ergos and the carry. So let's go ahead and get in on this blade. Really, really nice uh, 14C28N, also a plus for me there. Uh, very, very nice steel at that $55 price. Like to see that. Um, definitely, in my view, uh, I prefer that to a D2 or something along those lines. But uh, yeah, I mean, I put it kind of right up there with VG10. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a very good everyday carry steel. You know, you might have to sharpen it a bit more than you might otherwise uh, certain other steels or certainly maybe D2, but yeah, it's, it's great. Um, and for the price point, cool. Uh, okay, and you've got a big, big gigantic flat grind here on this very um, sort of wide blade with this really extended uh, belly that's uh, got a drop point sort of coming down this way. Nice stone wash finish. I think you can see that there. Yeah, the, the brazen that I reviewed recently also, very nice stone wash finish. Really nice edge on this. And I have to say, you know, this blade 
boy, is it thin behind the edge. So that's another thing I'm going to give this a lot of credit for. It's it's definitely, it's starting with thin stock, you know, that 0.118, almost 0.12, I guess, obviously. Uh, but but that big belly gives us a long way to sort of taper down into a very, very slicey edge. And it came very, very sharp. So no complaints there at all. Obviously, very dramatic blade hole. I love a bit of drama. <laughs> uh, but this is uh, one that can be used for opening, uh, for flicking, both with thumb and middle finger. We'll talk about that in action. But uh, yeah, overall, everything nicely chamfered, a little bit of jimping here, just an attractive blade. Uh, if you like this type of blade style, uh, I think you're going to like this knife. It's given you a lot of surface area to cut through. Uh, the grind is done well. The choil is done well. You know, it doesn't, the, the uh, grind termination point is well ahead of the plunge line. So, you know, just in general, I, I, this is a, it's a nice looking blade. Very, very att attractive blade. And I think in that 14C28N, yeah, a lot to like there. So... The blade, definitely, I think, a winner here on this particular uh, Civivi riffle. Civivi, Civivi, tomato, tomato, whatever. Uh, okay, let's talk about action. So this is running on cage ceramic bearings, which is very standard Civivi fare, right? But I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, they managed to pack cage ceramic bearings into a lot of packages with <laughs> a pretty significant value. Now, you are able to use the flipper tab to actuate it. You are also able to finger flick it or thumb flick it. So, you know, you've got sort of multiple deployment methods there, which is pretty cool. You know, the flipper tab for me, it, it's sort of a right angle, right? You can see how it kind of makes this little bit of a, I mean, it's not quite a square, but you see what I'm saying? And right on this edge for me, um, it's a little bit, the jimping's a little bit aggressive, a little bit sharp. So it did end up, you know, it's not like super uncomfortable, but it's just definitely a little bit I don't know. Uh, I would have liked to see that maybe a little. In fact, I, I'm not sure I'm a huge on this design of the flipper tab in general. It's like it can't quite decide if it wants to be a push button or if it wants to be a light switch. And I'm not saying that it can't, doesn't do either well. It certainly deploys just fine. Uh, and I have no complaints about that at all. In fact, the action is, is very good. Uh, I don't, you know, typical sort of quality Civivi action. I mean, it's running on ball bearings. It, should, it darn well should be at this point, um, the way they've been doing this. They've got that pretty perfected. But yeah, but the flipper tab, I'm a little... Eh, I don't know. Uh, in fact, I could have seen this knife maybe without the flipper tab altogether. Pure genius. Um, it does have this hole in it, which again, you know, I don't know why you did that. Uh, I guess just more for design and aesthetics. Um, but definitely, you know, finger flicking, thumb flicking, it works just fine. It's quite false shutty. It has worn in well. It's got a very, very good action. No complaints. And, you know, comparatively to the brazen that I had, I feel like it's, it's right in that same wheelhouse um, in terms of quality action. I think I might have liked the brazen maybe a little bit better, but I'm not sure. That could just be in my head uh, in terms of action. Um, but anyways, there you go. And I don't have the two side by side to compare. But uh, and I don't know why I'm comparing the two. It's it may be artificial to compare the two. I'm not sure they're apples to apples, but they are sort of the two newer Civivis that I'm sort of comparing, at least in my mind, as being kind of the two most popular right now. The other one out there is the Keen Natter, again, with, with these names, um, that seems to be getting a lot of, you know, and CVV, I definitely think, is coming in strong here in 2021. Uh, and the action on this riffle is no different. Uh, you do have a liner lock with a good lockup, you know, maybe 20% or so, 20-25%, um, which is just fine. You've got no blade play, no blade rock, anything like that, which is nice. Right. Uh, obviously, you don't want any of those <laughs> those things in your knife. So overall, you know, good action. Nothing to complain about there. Uh, I'm sure as it continues to work in, it'll be great. It's a little bit, uh, is, well, no, maybe not. Maybe I was just winging on it too hard earlier uh, when I was owning, you know, playing with this in the car, actually. <laughs> um, you know, it, it's, it's dialed, it's, it, I don't know if I'd say it's a soft detent. It's not, you know, because again, they're trying to, it's a thumb flicker or a finger flicker or whatever. So it's a fine detent. I'm, I'm not going to knock it. I, I probably was going to be more critical on that. And I'm, I'm stopping myself. I think it's just fine for what it is. So there you go. Fine detent. All right. Scales and hardware. <laughs> um, yes. Sorry. My mind went blank there for a minute. Scales and hardware. So, okay. We're going to talk through this, but this is where my biggest sort of Eh, with this knife is going to be personally. This is available in a number of vica uh, micartas. I think an OD green, I think a tan, and then this brown. Uh, and then it is also available in a carbon fiber G10 mix. And 
this G10, it looks very nice, uh, certainly on pictures. <laughs> um, and it is a G, they, they are, uh, I'm sorry, did I say G10? Micarta. This Micarta, Micarta looks very nice uh, in pictures. And it is Micarta Scales and this Micarta Backspacer. The feel of it, though, to me, uh, it feels a little Fisher Price. Um, I, you know, I don't know any really other way to say it. It doesn't feel like high, it doesn't feel like it's all that high end. And don't get cheap on me. <laughs> uh, in terms of my Carter, especially when you consider, where do I have one around here? Oh, here it is. This QSP Hawk, um, which also is in my Carta and is in a similar price range. Uh, this was a bit more expensive. But this Micarta, I feel, is way better <laughs> in terms of actually looking like quality Micarta, feeling like quality Micarta, sort of just, yeah, it's got a much nicer feel to it um, than, than this. Uh, just that's And that's just me. It, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm being too harsh there. Again, it's $55. But yeah, I mean, this Micarta just isn't, I mean, you know, well, let me get another Micarta. You know, so even compared to this Micarta, um, which I know can on this uh, G-slip has a tendency to dry out and you put some oil on it, but just feels more like micarta, where this feels more like plastic made to look like micarta. <laughs> and I know this is real micarta, 100% real micarta, and I don't want to harp on this too, too much, but that's that's just a complaint I have. The other sort of complaint I have, is, and I think it's maybe just because it's too thin, is it flexes. And I don't know if you can see that all that well in the camera. Now, I understand it's a natural fiber with glue, basically, and it's going to flex. And certainly here with a lock bar um, sort of, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it moves away from it where it's extra thin. But it even kind of flexes here on the stainless steel liners. And again, I understand the material and I understand that's that's possible. This is maybe just thicker, but there is a lot less flex uh, on this particular uh, micarta then and I, you know again I think it's maybe a bit thicker but so just overall you're hearing me maybe I'm just belaboring this overall you're just hearing me not super love this micarta get over it um, I appreciate the effort but yeah it's not super really doing it for me all right let's move on stainless steel liners um, the, very nice I'm kind of glad to see them not proud of the uh, scales this time that gets that design aesthetic is getting a little old in my view so I'm glad to see that uh, just be flush, and they are heavily, heavily skeletonized, um, which again, very nice touch and keeps that super lightweight. Uh, then you do have this stainless steel pocket clip, um, very, nice, you know, yeah, we'll talk about that in a sec. So, you know, just overall CVV pivot, you know, flush mounted hardware, those things, um, although they do the flush here, but they don't do the flush here, but you know, whatever, that's, I think, a minor gripe. Um, but by and large, yeah, um, you know, like you said, or like I said, <laughs> maybe you said too. I don't know. Tell me down in the comments. This is the part of the knife that I'm sort of least enamored with. It just feels a little budgety. And I understand it is a budget knife, but I don't know. I feel like I've seen better materials on knives in a similar price range. So I don't know. Let me down in the comments. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Okay, moving over to Ergos and Carry. The Ergos are good on this. In fact, I would say they're very good. Uh, very, very good Ergos. And, you know, the brazen that I was comparing it to, and in fact, the <laughs> the backlash, the reason I like these knives as well is, is they have great Ergos. Uh, and this is no exception. This one does have uh, great Ergos as well. Feels very good in hand. I don't know if you had a big hand or gloves on if this little bit of a, a hook here in the end of the scale might start to crowd you a little bit. Um, but... You know, honestly, for not having a finger choil or anything like that, the ability to to feel choked up and close to the blade, this feels good. This is the ergos are very nice. Feels good in hand. Uh, again, a little bit of a sharp spot here from this this darn clip or this darn flipper tab, which I, I mentioned I'm not a huge fan of. So, anyways, uh, that's kind of where I am with ergos. I think it's it's perfectly fine in hand. Uh, clip, very nice clip. It's got the recessed screws, although it's not recessed into the liner. You know, whatever. I think <laughs> they're getting, they're meeting you halfway there, I think. So I'm okay with that. And this was no worries, no hassle in and out of the pocket. Um, got good spring on the clip there. It's just, yeah, nice clip, carries easy, deep carry, uh, and doesn't stick out a little further, which I'm glad. I'm not a big fan of that when the clip, the deep carry sticks out a little further than the actual end of the knife. So nice job there. There is a little bit of a lanyard loop kind of recessed in there. Also cool. Glad to see that there, but also out of the way. Um, you know, it just, it carries fine, carries just fine. 
and I have no complaints on any of that. Uh, and just overall, it's a pretty nice, nicely made knife. Um, you know, fit and finishes is, is quite decent. Like I said, my my main gripe, I think more is with, yeah, the kind of toy-like <laughs> micarta that I've seemed to be perceiving on here. But other than that, this is a good knife. I prefer the brazen. Uh, I'm just going to say I had the brazen in G10, and maybe this in a G10 would change my mind. Uh, I don't know. I don't know that it's available in a G10. Maybe it is, and I just couldn't find one. But um, for my for my money, I prefer the brazen personally. It was, I think, even slightly a few bucks cheaper. But uh, I'm a I'm a brazen fan. But this riffle is a perfectly good knife, and you know I'm sure if if it's one that you really like the aesthetic of it, go for it. I'm sure you'll like it and be happy with it, as you, most folks are with most of the Sabivis they get in hand. So. There we go. That's what we got here on my review of the Civivi Riffle. Let me know if you think I was just being too hard or too biased on this. <laughs> I clearly liked the uh, Brazen better, but you know, let me know. I think this knife does some good things, but I've also got some little quibbles with it as well. So anyways, with that, I hope you're all doing really well out there. Stay safe, be mild-mannered to one another, and all the best.